Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today is June 5th and I am in another fun five under five challenge collab with hosts Emily from Farm Charm Cheek, Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, and guest host Jackie from Bless Beyond Measure. I will go in their channels in a bit later. My theme today is lemons. So why don't we begin with the tutorials? So for the first DIY, I had three of these fillable Easter eggs. These are the last three eggs that I have. I, You guys saw my previous video that I did do some watermelons with these uh, fillable eggs. So now I'm going to make some lemons and perfect that they are already yellow because my work is halfway done for me. <laughs> so I'm just taking some yellow acrylic paint from the Dollarama and I actually gave them two coats of paint. So you see here, they're all dried and I use my blow dryer to dry in between color. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make those little white marks that you see on all the cartoon lemons and I want to make it look like they were shiny. So I'm just using the end of my paintbrush and I'm just going to add small little uh, white dots. So I'm gonna add five total, you'll see here. to these looks so far so you'll notice when i painted the eggs there are a couple holes in the eggs somebody mentioned that they were in there for possibly choking hazards for it like if kids ever put them in their mouth so i was like oh okay i didn't realize there was why that was there but these holes come in handy for me because what i'm going to do is just take some greenery that i already had just cut where a little bit of the stem so that way i can actually put the stem right through the hole you don't need hot glue but i did do hot glue on one of them just to reinforce it a little bit more but how cute cute is this already just with a little stem oh my gosh these look like lemons to me <laughs> so i already had this watering jug from the dollarama it was two dollars i did get it last summer i'm hoping they will have them again this year i am just using some of that i don't know why it's called elixir but filling it with elixir and i'm putting the lemons just on some toothpicks on a styrofoam just to hold them all together and i'm just going to add some elixir just around the top as well just so they stand up uh, nicely so here this ribbon actually it was just a spare piece of ribbon it actually came off a gift basket that i had so i thought you know what i'm gonna keep it and use it and it comes in handy with this diy and i will use it again in another diy in this video so it did go far for me so i'm just gonna make a simple bow i just make a symbol you know the cancer symbol and then i squeeze it in the middle and then i haven't shown you here but i will show you in another uh, diy in the video how i actually did it i just used a wire to twist it around the center and then i used some more of the ribbon to hot glue around the center again you'll see it later on in the video and i'm just gonna hot glue it how cute is that so again stay tuned till the very end of the video you will see all of the diys all put together in a final shot okay so for the second diy i am just going to make one of these spoons there was a three pack of the serving spoons from the dollar tree just using one at the moment actually sorry it was a four pack i lied so four pack great deal for dollar 25 and i just gave it three coats of the yellow acrylic paint this one was still um the plastic was still showing through so i just did three coats and I'm just showing you here i painted letters in the past another diy a long time ago so i'm just letting you know that you can paint these stickers a different color and use it that way i just like the black because it stood out on the yellow in my opinion and if you haven't guessed it already i am spelling the word lemon and again i'm doing the same trick where i just stick the sticker on my hand so that way it's not as tacky so if i do put the sticker on the spoon i still have some wiggle room if i want to move the letters around and guys i haven't set up my credit yet but I'm going to use my Cricut utensil here. So this is great though, actually, because I can pick up the letters a lot easier and place them where I want. So, hey, at least I use something for the Cricut. <laughs> so here it is. And here is where I'm going to make that other bow. So it's still doing the same thing. I pinch it in the middle and here I am using the wire and twisting it to um, hold everything in place. And then again, I'm just going to use another piece of the ribbon to go over top of it. So here it is all done. I think this spoon looked so stinking cute. I love it. So DIY number three, I just had some more of those uh, lemon wood slices. So I did just paint it. I didn't show you how, um, cause I did another video with these lemon slices. I did a paddle board with them. I will leave that link to that video in the description box. If you want to take a look, you can. And so now I had this chalkboard that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just used some painter's tape just to cover the chalkboard so I didn't 
paint on it and I'm just giving the board one coat of paint and you see here this picture I didn't show you but I just did a little bit of a white uh, acrylic paint dry brush just to give it a little bit more texture I had these wooden letters from the Dollarama now I can't remember guys if it was three or four dollars I know it wasn't cheap so um, I'm spelling out the word fresh lemonade and I am using the scrapbook paper that you guys know I've used already from the Dollarama and I just cut out one of the little lemon slices and I'm using that as the O in the lemonade and you see here I'm just going to hot glue all the letters letters I just went over them once with a coat of the white acrylic paint So for the small little O for in, in a lemonade, I had this double-sided tape. This isn't from the Dollar Tree. Craig had it lying around in the garage. So he said, do you want this? I said, sure. <laughs> so it came in handy for me. <laughs> so I just wanted to elevate the slice just a little bit. So it is double-sided. You just take off the backing of the paper and you can stick it on to your um, surface. And I'm just going to hot glue the actual wood lemon slice to the top here. I did just hot glue it to the sticker already on it. So I didn't actually if I want to take the lemon off, I can reuse it later on. Cute, cute, cute. DIY number four. I had this really cute jar that I got from the Dollarama. It had these really cute gingham buttons in there. So I will be using those later on. Right now, I just wanted it for the jar to make it look like a mason jar because I don't have little mini mason jars right now. And that is on my wish list when things open up again here in Ontario. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of that scrapbook paper. You'll remember this paper in another DIY video the same video actually as the paddle board and so I'm just gonna hot glue this image to the front of the jar So I had these really cute lemon napkins from the Dollar Tree and I really liked the color of it. So I'm actually going to use this as filler in the glass just to make it look like there is actually lemonade in there. I was actually going to improvise and I had some of those ice cubes. Remember the summer picnic DIY video that I did and I put some of those marbles in a bucket with the gummy Coke bottles, um, but they weren't fitting in there. So I did not use it. <laughs> so right now I'm just using one of these straws that I got from the Dollarama at Halloween and I thought they'd go perfectly with this theme today so i'm just going to put it in the jar but first i'm just going to wrap another yellow um, piece of the napkin around the straw so that way it doesn't bunch in the center when i put the straw in this way So I had this three pack of Baker's Twine from the Dollar Tree. It was black, orange, and yellow. I'm just using the black one and I'm going to wrap uh, it around the top of the jar just three times and I'm gonna hot glue it in place. So here I'm just gonna make another little cute bow. I'm just going to use the twine and wrap it around my three fingers and I'm gonna wrap it around maybe three or four times and then I'm just going to grab it in the middle just to pinch it again and then I'm just gonna use some more Baker's twine to tie it around the center and make sure that it is sealed and I'm just gonna cut off the excess twine. So just remember, this is an amazing collab with amazing, talented women. I would love it if you guys could check out the playlist. I will leave the playlist in the description box below. You guys know I love Emily from Farm Charm Cheek, Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, and Jackie from Blessed Beyond Measure. These ladies are absolutely lovely. Please go over and say hi for me. So last and final DIY, remember I told you not to throw things out until you know for sure you will never use them remember the watermelon banner that i made i had some scraps left over so i'm going to make a miniature banner and i'm going to make lemons this time so using the same yellow acrylic paint i'm just giving each one a coat of paint and now to make the rind of the lemon i'm just going to use some white and just freehand some lines just at the top 
So I'm gonna use the same scrapbook paper and I'm gonna cut out two more of those lemon slices. So now I will have two lemon slices and three um, burlap lemons. And what I'm gonna do is place them strategically like as you see here. And remember this little tray that I made for one of my Easter DIYs? So I'm gonna use this because I thought it was such a cute little display. So what I'm gonna do is just use some more of the jute twine and I'm going to hot glue all of the pieces on there. I'm just measuring here how much of the jute twine I need. I'm only gonna hot glue it to the sides of the box. Okay guys, we are coming close to the big reveal. I am so excited how all these DIYs turned out. I wanted to create a lemonade stand and I think they all just went together so well. What do you guys think? Honestly, I am so impressed that I did this video just over 11 minutes as well. Sometimes when you have five or more DIYs, it is a lot to edit. <laughs> so please remember guys, this is a fun collaboration with, um, Emily, uh, Missy, and Jackie, and it is a five under five challenge. Yes, and please go over to the playlist and support all these beautiful YouTubers. And remember guys, I do post videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I would love it if you guys could hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Stay safe. We'll see you at the next video. Bye.